Most welcome back again, my guest on Reveal This, Christian Achu. I'm enjoying the story and I hope you certainly are too. So, post final, what happened? Why did he leave final? Uh, I left Fenard because there was a situation where my mom wanted me to really go to school, you know. And I had that problem with uh, Fenard because they spoke with Fenard that they want me to really go to school. And Fenard uh, also were thinking that no, the guy has a talent and he can make it to Fenard. Mm. But then I had some situation, then I, I have to go back home, you know. Mm. Then Chita bought me where I can go to school. You're talking about Cheetah, it's another football club. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Cheetah, At final, I mean, do you have the facilities up to, let's say, um, classes? No, GSS3. It's GSS3. Yeah. Right on to GSS3. So it means you completed GSS3. Yeah, final. and I was. And you wanted to go to secondary school? I was in secondary school. The the first level, yeah. Oh, exactly. But your parents wanted you home? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's, that's, that's a little bit strange. <laughs> but anyway, so you moved back home. And Cheetah FC also um, saw your talent and they bought you. Yeah. But how was the experience, the different experiences like? You having to go to final to develop talent and now a football club for that matter wanted you. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, as Cheetah, uh, you know, the facilities were quite difficult, you know, with boss and with uh, uh, better coaches, you know, and with sometimes food. But uh, you know, this is something that I have to go through. So I take it as a life. This is what I have to go through, and I have to work out towards it because I'm in Cheetah now. I'm not in Fenway. I don't have to look back. I have to move forward. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So moving forward, what was a you know that big point for you where you had a chance to move abroad? Can you tell, take us through it? Yeah, I was playing. Uh, I was playing at Kaswa uh, with Cheetah, you know? mm -hmm. and. Uh, Cheetah has an agent from Portugal. I think he's Canadian, but he basically based in Portugal. So he saw me and he said, oh, I want this guy and I want him to go uh, to Porto. Mm -hmm. So from there then, I went to Porto, junior side. And then I trained with them three days and then uh, they gave me uh, wait, six months. They gave me six months contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, I mean, how did he feel that time when the announcement was, uh, you know, made? <laughs> I was very happy, you know, to play FC Porto, uh, one of the best clubs in Portugal. And it's not easy. But uh, this is what has happened, you know. So I was really excited about it. How, you know, when did this happen? About two years or three years ago? Yeah, two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. And yeah. so basically you've been at Porto all those while after that. Yeah. And uh, how difficult is it, you know, to adjust to the system? Because first, the language, <laughs> the weather and all yeah. that. How did you adjust? Uh, uh, for the weather, it wasn't easy for me. I was really cold. <laughs> <laughs> and for the language, um, when I went there, they started speaking Portuguese with me. Mm. They said, you have to learn Portuguese. So when I said, OK, yeah, I'm in Portugal, then I have to learn Portuguese. But they have some people who speak English and also Portuguese. So mm -hmm. sometimes they translate to me uh, if I can't understand it. Mm -hmm. So you can speak the language now? Yes, I understand. Can you just give us a brief one sentence? <laughs> <laughs> it's really interesting to hear you speak. Uh, OK. Um, Perhaps I have to ask a question. I was so Christian. Uh -huh. I was so Christian. What's that? I'm Christian. <laughs> <laughs> You're Christian. Yeah. Anyway, um, so obviously you were then at Porto. You wanted to get to the top, you know, ranks. And the opportunity came when you trained with the first team. That is when we all got to know about a certain Christian at you in uh, Portugal. How did that happen for you? Uh, I was playing the. I played in the junior team. Uh, of FC Porto two years. My first season wasn't easy. I had some injuries, so we couldn't win the Portuguese league for the junior side. Then my next season, uh, we won the league, mm. and I was the uh, most uh, variable player. So they called me for their last game in the senior side, their last game against my team. Mm -hmm. And I went and sat on the bench, but I was just <laughs> I didn't itching end. to go. <laughs> but it just yeah, didn't come. Yes, yes. Sometimes, I mean, they keep on saying you have to be patient and wait for your time. But, you know, at other times, for young players like you, 
with the blood everything just right there hoping to go how, how are you able to handle yourself uh, okay because uh, i wanted to play football i love football i really do love football so every time uh, i try to encourage myself when i'm down mm -hmm. even because i love the game i try to play i try to work hard and i try to take advice from um, my senior players over there and the coaches also they love me so i try to take advice from them it wasn't easy but by god's grace who are your mentors talk about footballers in in, in the world um i love messi Messi. Yeah, I love his style of play. Oh, what What's so special about his style? Uh, he can dribble two, three, four, five players, which is very good. If you have, as a footballer, if you have this kind of talent, then you are really special. You know? And he's also a sad football. He's a very humble guy. Mm -hmm. The humility aspect. Yes. And then at Porto, you also compare to Hawk. I mean, I see the two of you and these are two contrasting players all together. One a striker, one a midfielder. <laughs> Why that comparison? Okay, uh, there was a game that we played in uh, Germany. We played a friendly game against a second division side. Mm. And Hook was playing on the right side. I was Hook. playing. Yes. Hook. Okay, Hook. He was playing on the right side and I was playing on the left side. And that game we won 11 0. It was really a great game for Hook and I. So, um, this it was pre-season or yeah, something? Yeah, it was pre-season. Hmm. And from that day, they started to uh, call me Mini Hook, uh, this, you are the next Hook, yeah. And also, I won the FIFA Blue Stars with, with FC Porto, and I won the Portuguese League also. So from there, they said, oh, this, this guy is going to be the next Hook, but I'm not listening to what they are saying. I'm just <laughs> concentrating on my game so. and after that you get a call up to the national team how did that come to you were you expecting it you know my dream when i was in uh, final was to play the national team mm -hmm. it is something that i really want to do and i want to do it and play for my nation i love when players play for their nation and i'm watching them so i said uh, I want to play the national team also. So when I went to Portugal, this was what is what was in my mind to play the national team, to play for my country, to defend my nation every time. Mm -hmm. So I said, no, then I have to play for the national team. So when I, I was called for the national team, I was really excited. Really excited. Yes. And uh, you you got into the team. I mean, you, you so it means basically you've been following the exploit of the team. Yeah. yeah. And how how do you think when you know? We were knocked out by Uruguay at the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I will congratulate the players who went to the World Cup that year. You know, they played, they really did well, and they made me proud. And people were looking at Ghanaian players as they have good quality, you know, good qualities. So I was happy, even we were out, but with their performance, I was very happy. I was proud, really proud to be a Ghanaian and I wanted to play for the national team. How did the Portuguese react to that? Uh, they said, oh, they said, you lost, you lost your game, but your country, they are really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your, fav your favorite Black Stars players? <laughs> okay, uh, I like Abedi Pele. The maestro? Yeah, the maestro. Also a left-footed player. Exactly. And all that. What do you hope to achieve now that you are in the team? Obviously, trying to get into the um, first eleven. What do you hope to achieve, less in the next five, ten years? Five, ten years. I would like to be. Um, I would like to be a useful player for the Black Stars and also to win Champions League with my club and also to play in um, Spanish league or um, England league. You know. This is what I really want to achieve. Mm, exactly. And so, I mean, you're a young man trying to get it up there, 20 years of age. Um, people usually look at footballers and they say, you, you, have, a, you have lots of money. Is that, is that, you know, the real thing on the ground? Okay. Um, football now, yes, I would say um, there's a lot of money in football, but the money is not for 
for the lazy people. Mm. The money is for people who want to work hard. Yes, so if uh, you are a lazy footballer, you cannot get money. Yeah, you have to working. work hard. Yeah. Work hard and then by God's grace, um, I always say by God's grace because there are some people, they are really good in football, but without the grace of God, they can't get to where they are going. So by God's grace, if you work hard and you keep following God with what you are doing, then I believe you will get to the top. Now, we came to the car park when the Blasters had their training session. Classy, you know, the finest cars available in the world. We all just littered all around. Are you the type who also likes, you know, such things, houses and all that? Yeah, as a footballer, uh, if you have money, you have to buy a house, you have to get a car. This is the life. You can't stay at where you were staying, you know, you have to move forward. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's something that not uh, only footballers, but others also do, you know, to be good in life. But also uh, the biggest aspect in it is to be humble, to be very humble. Are you not married? No, I'm not married. I'm too young to marry. <laughs> I'm too young to marry. Oh, wow. You're just tw you're 20 years. Yes, I'm 20 years. Yes. And you have everything. No, I don't have everything. I don't have everything. I'm now coming up. You know. You have a girlfriend. Yes, I have a girlfriend. What's her name? Uh, Claire Rupio. She's in uh, Germany. She's in Germany. Uh, a German. A German. Yeah, a German. Wow. So you went the foreign way. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say out there to girls, you know, who, who are fond of you, who want to experience you, let's say, watch you on the field of play? What, what message do you have for them? Uh, what I would say is uh, they should be praying for me. You know, they are my fans and they have to pray for me for everything to work on when. And also, I would say I give thanks to them. Uh, for all my fans outside, for um, supporting me in everything that I was doing. So. When I asked you to say a few words in Portuguese, you went the Christian way, I'm a Christian. How big a role is Christianity or your religion in the things you do? Uh, for me, uh, in my life, I'll say the greatest thing that I want, I really want to to do no, it's good to play football, but I, I am really uh, a religious person, and I. Without God, God is my life. God is my life. God is my everything. With the, with, with the level that I am now, I will give big thanks to God. You know. So, uh, I always try to do uh, what God says, even though. The Bible says, uh, and we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love Him and to those who are called according to His purpose. So if you follow God, then I believe everything will be okay. Exactly. God is everything. To and I look forward to the day you score your first goal for the Black Stars. Okay. Christina Thank choose you. the name. On behalf of the crew, uh, most definitely the hardworking Francis and crew, Mighty Michael Jr., Nana Quikwedia, and the rest of the people who made the show a success. We say bye for now. Do watch out for Chris and Achoo. Bobby Valentino. Get up all in your school. You can hear the angels calling.